Yo, yo, yo. yo. Back in St. Louis at the St. Louis Chess Club. And yes, sir, I want to talk about presenting chess. Yeah. Presenting chess over the years. I mean, it has evolved. It has changed so much. You know, nowadays we got everything. We got computers. Right. We've got all the cameras that are showing players from multiple angles. Internet video. It's, it's like audio. I can't even imagine if I was able to sit and watch Yasser Sirwan <laughs> in the US Chess Championship had video of that to be able to watch it live <sighs> instantly. No, back in the day, they had the the, the kids <laughs> in the Russian. I remember, you know, they showed this in the Queen's Gambit. They're actually hooking chess pieces and putting them on these giant boards That's right. for people to follow. Right. But the real original, I think, great, great presentation for chess was Shelby Lyman calling Fisher Spassky. PBS. On the, PBS. Tell, tell us about it. Well, first of all, it was like from Russia with Love, the James Bond movie, <laughs> where, you know, the the evil character is playing chess, and you're right, it's it, 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 it's the the moving of the pieces on the stick. And there's no commentary. There's just like everybody whispering, oh my gosh, that's a good move. You know, you have a, they got their sets. Shelby Lyman revolutionized chess in America, chess on TV, and it was hilarious because now we watch it, we go, oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, the guy would say, stop what we're doing, is that the, the, the Telefax machine? <laughs> it's, it's spitting out a move, and everybody would run to the machine and go, oh my God. Shelby had pieces in his pocket he forgot to put back on the board. <laughs> it was amateur hour and America loved it. They had never, chess was Greek. Chess is Greek. And here's a guy talking about how important the pawn was. You can't lose that pawn. If you lose the pawn, Maurice, you're gonna lose influence over here. And this was at the time was when great. Fisher was playing against Spassky. Exactly. The Cold War era. Yeah. Was a Maverick Soviet. American against the Soviet dominance. And he played into that as well as Absolutely. the whole fever of chess in America was ready for that kind of commentary. Yeah, fr front page news. It was amazing. No, I mean, it's ridiculous. Walter Cronkite, the voice of American news, he would start his presentation about the great stories of the day. Boom, 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 boom. But before we get into those stories, Bobby Fischer is leading his match against Boris Gatsky, six to three, and we're gonna go into Reykjavik and get an update. Amazing. It was like, what? And, this is fantastic. And as a result of that, of course, a slew of grandmasters came along, yourself and Benjamin. Well, I was and, the Bobby and Fischer the like. generation. But we jump ahead and we go to my first time doing commentary. I'm in the Kremlin in Moscow. <laughs> the first sporting event ever held in the Kremlin. Beautiful. Who does a sporting event in this political institution? Right. But the Intel World Chess Grand Prix gets a sponsorship. I, I Kasparov that. is able to get that pull as the world champion. And we're in the Kremlin. I'm there for Eurosport with Danny. This is before Danny King and I actually tape. And we're sitting there, and Bob Rice, who's the president of the uh, Professional Chess Association. Association, he says to me, Maurice, the Russians are doing commentary. We Americans, we can't understand anything. Would you mind going up in a booth and just talking and explaining the games, mm -hmm. just so that we can follow Kasparov and Kromnik on stage? For the foreign, foreign visitors. So I go up. They hooked me up in this old school <laughs> booth. I'm like, what's going on? I'm by myself. I got on the headset. I got the microphone. I'm looking down on the stage, and Gary's playing Kramnik, and I decide I'm not doing commentary like old Today, school commentary. Oh, with the pony, pony the Ford. Queen no, is coming I'm going to do it like John Madden and Mark <laughs> Albert, like, like it's pro sports. Right. So I'm shouting at the top of my lungs <laughs> by myself in the room. So right. whatever. And I'm going, oh my right. God, he what a move. Did you see what he missed? This is unbelievable. <laughs> right. I hear that Clara Kasparova later. The mother, hear, of Gary. the mother of Gary. The mother of Gary Kasparov. She can't speak any English, but 
the sound coming from my voice th through everybody else's the headset earpiece that they're yeah. listening in on was so dynamic and interesting that she changed from <laughs> Russian to English just to listen to me modulating up and down so she could, could be excited. The, the game. <laughs> the, just the drama of it. Fantastic. And that's how I started. That's fantastic. That's a fantastic story. Nothing similar, but there's something I love. There was a match between um, Deep Fritz and Vladimir Kramnik in Bonn, Germany. And, you know, Germany. So they had German commentators, a whole group of them. And the Germans thought, well, okay, we're gonna have one English commentary. One English, we have like R2 Yusufov, Klaus Bischoff, uh, Helmut Flager, all of these Germans all lined up. And there was me, like you, in the one booth. So I did my commentary, and unfortunately for Vladimir, he lost to the computer. The deep. Mm -hmm. That was the checkmate in one yes. move. Oh, May 7, oh, terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Pain. I go down the escalator, and this German man with the heaviest German accent says, Mr. Shervon, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I change digit. I listen you. English very good. English schwein needs good. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the, the, the bottom line is people were not only interested in the chess, but they were also interested in how you present the English and the English words. A lot of kids have come up to me and said, I learned how to pronounce Nydorf, or Anpriz, or Fienchetto, Fienchetto, from you. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst! The basics. <laughs> what I'm you the were thinking the basics. <laughs> and you know, you talk about that, even in this digital age where now we have all these presentations and fancy ways and cameras and right. multiple angles, you still get characters. And you tell me about a character, a commentator, who has this distinctive voice. Oh my gosh. Uh, the way he From presents. From Sharjah. Please oh, tell us that story. that was terrible, terrible, terrible. So Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates was hosting the World Blitz Championships, the World Rapid Championships, and they poured all their money, all their resources into the playing hall, the prize fund, the hotels, the ambience. And somebody said, oh my gosh, we're gonna show the games live, you know, just the moves, but maybe we should get a commentator. So there was a grandmaster in residence at the Sharjah Chess Club. And it's sort of like, Phew! We He didn't even know it, <laughs> but he was put there. Well, I've got to tell you something. I mean, I'll, he'll go nameless, but I just have to say he was the worst commentator <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. And he would be talking like this. Ooh, you see Magnus, Magnus, look how he played. Two bishops, so nice. <gasps> my God, what he do? He give up two bishops? Why? Magnus, he know, he understand. <laughs> I was like, you bet, you better come over here. <laughs> this is great. We were laughing. The guy became a cult figure because he was just so awful. <laughs> I love it. Well, let's get started. Hey, let's and roll. we can do commentary. Yeah, You're baby. playing a Sicilian? Oh, come on. I'm going to sack no, a Gavin. That's no right, Morgan. You don't accept the Not the Yes, a Sirwan. No you should kidding. be ashamed of yourself oh, yeah, you playing this tears. boring <laughs> chess. I can't believe this. We got to go into Moroxi <laughs> Bind. Look, look at my oh, tears. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't believe Look at this guy. This give is the guy. That. I'm just going to cackle. 